I've never worked in my life. I've never had a job, nor have I tried hard at school or spent time studying for hours. I either got what I wanted or gave up on whatever I failed at. I never pushed hard and always thought school and work were boring. I craved the need to see new things, meet new people, and go to different places. But of course, I was always too busy or I had no money. This was an excuse, and I watched anime as an escape mechanism for myself so that I could meet these goals. I never pushed hard to meet these goals in person because I knew I had anime and I had excuses. But that all changed when I watched Hanasaku Iroha. As the first video on this new channel that I made, this is very personal. It's personal, it's real, and it's me. I don't want another excuse for why I'm not making a script right now. But that's what I would have said 13 months ago. But today I'm not here to say why I failed to complete the script. I'm here to finish it and say what I wanted to say a year ago. This isn't for views, subscribers, or for my family. It's to please my desires. It's to show myself that anime does change me. It doesn't just encourage me, it forces me to change. I want to have an experience where I can say anime has changed my life. And know that it has. Hanasaku Iroha is the anime of how a content person can be influenced and change if they really try. No matter where you are or how old you may be or what events are happening in your life, you can change as well. The show follows a girl by the name of Ohana. She doesn't have a perfect life, but she has everything she needs. She wants to go somewhere different, but never took the step forward. She's fine standing where she's comfortable, but she is forced to take a step forward. Her mom, Satsuki, sends Ohana to her grandmother's inn, while she leaves with her boyfriend to avoid debt. The premise of the show isn't mind-blowing, but that's life. Events such as these can happen to anyone. And Ohana, surprised by these facts, takes advantage of what she has and accepts this harsh, yet unexpected step forward. Something I could never do. As days go on away from her home, she works hard to be accepted in the inn, and works there every day, always complaining, yet always putting 100% effort into her work even if it was simple or hard. If the first half of the show was about working hard and trying to find your own home, the last 13 episodes were about letting it all out and putting effort into your new home. Though this show's message was simple and easy to understand, the actions and dialogue are what makes it so relatable and inspiring. From making a menu for a culture festival to hosting a wedding, the themes and characters of the show always pulled through. Near the end, one last problem arose. It was expected, yet unexpected at the same time. It was the final arc for the two newest inn members. Obviously, things ended happily and we are met with an ending that was open-ended. An ending that makes you wish for more. An ending that pushes you to the edge of your seat, making you want to stand tall. The show is just that, and that's enough for me. It's simple on the surface, but has a deeper meaning, depending on who you may be. For me, this show underlines that school, commitments, family, and friends are all a part of your life. 
but that doesn't mean it's limited to just that. Don't be afraid of change. Don't hold it in until you feel like dying. Bring it out and accept it. Accept things for what they are and make yourself better because of it. I want to make a career in making entertaining videos, but never had the time. I gave up on editing videos a long time ago. I lost hope, but I lost a reason to be myself. I held myself back for way too long. And now, taking time to watch this anime, I understand how childish and self-conscious I was of change. Just like Ohana's catchphrase, I was fessing it up. Then, two years after the original release of the series, the movie came out. I soon found out about it and immediately went to watch it. If you were expecting more romance and drama, you would be mistaken. But does it demean the quality of the movie? No. Though its weird 66 minute runtime is unusual, the thematic statements and lore behind the characters are the key points of the movie and is what makes the show more influential. After watching the movie, I knew I had to get up and write the script. Both the present and past me had this urge to just get up and start writing. The movie takes place somewhere between the last couple of episodes of the main series and takes us through a journey behind Ohana's mom and about fessing it up. Though the main character who was fessing it up was not Ohana, it didn't ruin the movie at all. In fact, it showed us more character development and what fessing it up truly means. To me, these two works are one of the few shows that have actually influenced me on a personal and deeper level. Though Via Evergarden and many good shows can make me cry and have emotional outbursts, it is nowhere near as influential as Hanasaku Iroha. Personally, I was attached to Ohana. Her charisma was something I've always wanted. However, that wasn't why I personally was attached to her character. During episode 11, she states that she had to fess it up. The word fess it up doesn't have a meaning in the dictionary. But when I first heard it, I knew exactly what it meant. I understood what she said, but never understood why. Why did I know this word and why was I so invested into Ohana? Then that's when the first punch hit me. Episode 12 Episode 12 was the first time I realized that not only Ohana, but I was also fessing it up. To define it, fessing it up means that you're holding something back. It is like a pent up feeling you have inside of yourself. A ball of emotions you hid away for a long time. It's the feeling of someone not understanding how much you sacrifice. It is the feeling of anguish you have when your mom won't be at home at night. It is the feeling you hold back when your sister wants to go on a field trip with your mom, but you have to say she's busy and you can't. It is the feeling that you hide when someone you love makes a promise but can't keep it. It is the feeling of wanting to do something but always making excuses because you know that making videos can never be a main source of income. It is the feeling of wanting to make your own anime but being told of the harsh realities and putting that dream aside for years to come. That. That is what fessing it up means. This phrase is a phrase I wanted to know about for years, but never got the chance to ever hear it. Being able to finally understand the phrase made me realize something deep down. I can't keep holding it in. Now, as I finally start my channel and make strides towards my dream, I can't let go. The amount of work I have to do is not the same as Ohana, but the smile I have when I do it is exactly the same. 
Hanasaku Iroha slapped me across the face and said that my insecurities were normal. But being able to overcome them is something only people with passion can do. I took that message so personally. I took it and I said I want to be a person with passion. I want to sparkle. I can't keep lying to myself and say, it's okay, being a content creator is harsh and you don't have the right equipment to compete with these bigger YouTubers. I just can't keep doing it. Every day that I deny myself from doing what I want to do, the less I sparkle and shine. I've put my feelings inside a deep hole. Every time someone asks me what I want to do, I would always respond with, I don't know. I did it so many times that some days I would believe myself. I said, I don't know, because what would these people say about my future? My own parents have even told me that being a pro gamer and YouTuber is unreliable and that I should find a real job. Of course, I knew this and I still know this to this day, but I put up with others' expectations and never really got that chance to be myself. It happened before ever watching this anime, and sadly it happened right after I watched it too. Taking a college history course during my sophomore year mentally drained me. I was in such a bad mental state that I even started to lose hope in my own dreams and anime itself. Like always, I took my own emotions and hid them once more knowing that anime could never change me. My previous self said that I didn't want to make excuses and that I didn't want to hold it in any longer. but. Ironically, I did the opposite. In fact, I would argue that I was more reluctant to make my dream come true after I watched Hanasaku Iroha. I didn't do this anime justice, nor did I find my passion again. Though many people who have watched my first anime essay would know, I, I did find my passion again. But not through Hanasaku Iroha. However, after rewatching Iroha and the film, I finally got something out of my chest. I've been fessing it up for a long time now. Today, I want to change that for real. No words could ever describe Hanasaku Iroha and how it influenced me. This show is something you experience, not tell to others. That's why this video isn't for anyone else but myself. I've been holding my emotions back for so long. I couldn't express myself. I couldn't be open about my feelings and my future. Even now I'm still holding back. Little by little I want to sparkle. I want to be a person who took my experience from anime and changed people's lives with it. I've been weighed down my life and by myself for years, and now I want to break free. I want to find my home sweet home, just like Ohana. I want to be passionate like Ohana. I want to be happy like Ohana. I want to be charismatic like Ohana. I was fessing it up like Ohana, but now I'm free. Just like Ohana. Oof, alright. Well, that's the end of this four-part series of how I got here and why I love anime so much. If you haven't noticed, many of my videos piggyback on each other. For example, the last essay I put, now rip, or now ripe, I don't really know, but I put her music at the end of that video. And of course, she did the OP and some of the EDs for... Hanasaku Iroha, which is really amazing. Uh, I love her songs and you know, they're really awesome Anyways, I will make more essays and maybe try my hand on actual analysis in the future I don't really know where I want to go with these videos, but 
you know, I don't think I want to stop them anytime soon. Anyways, these videos have always been random, but hopefully, you know, they'll be less connected dotty, so, you know, I'm more free to do other things and stuff, so hopefully it'll be more fun. Um, but, you know, maybe they won't be, who knows, I don't, the future is a mystery to be honest, but anyways, I might revisit uh, Hanasaku Iroha because I really love the show and I want to write more about it. I know that, you know, this this anime is really lacking in some analysis. I kind of want to fix that and maybe I'll, you know, analyze an episode or two. But anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed your stay.